Ahem. <clears throat> I told you so! So Ubisoft just released a story trailer for Mario Plus Rabbit Spots of Hope, and wow, the animation is awesome here. I hope the Mario movie is like this. We saw some more enemies and areas, opening cutscenes showing off. <laughs> Rabbit Luigi running away. That's so in character for Luigi. And we'd be surprised if we say Luigi running away. <laughs> Not only that, we got a better look at Cursa. And this scene just showed that Cursa is 100%, without a doubt, Rosalina possessed by Cursa. In this scene, we see her briefly go from red to blue eyes. And that eye color, that is Rosalina's eye color. She regains control after seeing the Lumas. You can even see a little bit of her face here. But Cursa regains control of Rosie once again and turns from blue eyes to red eyes. All in all, this confirms that Rosalina is being possessed by Cursa, and it is shown that she is trying to fight a possession whenever she sees her Lumas getting hurt. The only thing now left to wonder is how she got possessed. We clearly and obviously won't know how exactly until the final act, which I believe is this scene here, the final battle. I think right here when uh, Cursa grabs everyone, that's when the final battle is about to act. I mean, commence. So this was just a quick update about the Cursor being Rosalina theory. I'm honestly surprised that Ubisoft didn't even try to hide it. I mean, obviously we all knew it was Rosalina just by looking at her, and the hints of it, you know, being sprinkled around everywhere. Like, I'm guessing they all saw us saying that, we know that's Rosalina, stop hiding it. So they were like, eh, whatever. <laughs> they know, so just show that scene that confirms the theory, someone's bound to lead the final battle anyway. Now, I do hope that no one's upset about um, uh, Cursor being Rosalina. I know many were not, um, uh, up for it because, um, uh, again, they all saw it was too obvious, but also because they didn't like um, uh, Rosalina being the damsel in distress, and also be bad for her character. I mean, I already saw some people being upset that um, uh, she's hurting her Lumas. How's she gonna react, um, uh, knowing after um, uh, what she did as um, uh, being possessed by Cursa? Like, I get it, but again, possession is not um, uh, uncommon in Mario series. Rosalina will obviously feel guilty after being, you know, freed, but I'm sure everyone will, you know, reassure it was not your fault, don't feel guilty, yada yada. You know, the usual, you know, I'm um, a uh, love, warmth, my friendship, and all that, and my ending. They'll all give her a big hug, and then everything will be back to normal. And no, I don't think this counts her out as, you know, not being um, a playable in the DLC, because... Just because um, uh, she's a boss and the main antagonist in uh, you know this game, it doesn't mean that she's out for the count for DLC. The DLC states that you know more playable characters and additional story content, meaning more story stuff will happen down the line. Maybe after she's freed, um, uh, some of the dark mist might be spread out somewhere else, and it'll involve other Marvel characters coming in as well. And you know maybe Rosalina will be playable in one of those paths. We just have to wait and see. Alright guys, I'm out and I'm hyped for this game. The animation, top tier. Look how expressive Mario is. And I love how Peach is very look, look like I'm uh, looking I'm, uh, very confident, like Mario, you know what to do. Right. She even helps him get up. I love that confidence, Peach. I love it. Alright guys, bye.